Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Switzer Lake in Europa Universalis 4. So, uh, let's see. We are over the relationships limit, which I, I, I think is fine. We're not tied to a lot of these people long term. Like Hungary, Poland, we have no royal marriage with. We could break them at will. And we've got tons of Diplo points and we're ahead of time. So there's no reason to really worry about it. But uh, we'll get rid of that alert for now. We can hire a free military leader. Pretty likely that we would be able to keep that free military leader for quite a while. We humiliated Venice, which was great. Um, let's see. We tried making this guy into a leader because he's garbage and our air is much better. Far, far more points. And we are still powering our way, I believe, through defensive ideas. Yes, we need regimental systems still. We still need to do defensive mentality, which will stack really well with Alpine defensiveness. Giving us tons of bonus fort defense. I think as much as France, really. France has luck and... The, oh, no, that's actually a character. Doesn't France have an idea that gives them increased fort defense? Or am I crazy? It might be crazy. So, anyway, we need a diplomat so we can negotiate with you. I don't know if um, there was a particular reason why I was planning on keeping at war with you. We'll recall. You just cancel military access. Right. So the plan was to, to take this one province, I think. It is Protestant, which is rather unfortunate, but... We're still Catholic. Let's see, if we took Augsburg, and we took all of your money, and we took your war reparations, and then made you a vassal. Do we want to do all that? Does that make sense? Hmm. That would give us another relationship. But it is a little bit less aggressive expansion. Well, right now... You know, if we do this... If we just take even the one province... I think we're already going to be looking at a coalition situation. Again. I mean, it's... 20-some aggressive expansion with most people. But yeah, okay. Well, let's just take this stuff. We'll take, uh... Take your money, take that. We'll take war reparations. And, uh, we'll end the war now. Although, hold on. Austria is the emperor. Austria is at peace. Austria hates us. So we can't do it quite yet. We've got to chain another war or wait for Austria to go to war. So yeah, we'll just sit here. We just won't do anything for now. Okay, well that seems fine. How are we doing on the actual goal, by the way? We have 17 whole provinces. Wow, we have a long way to go. Europe's very, very high on base tax. I mean, it's expensive. Very expensive. Had two people voting for us, Brandenburg and Bohemia. Bohemia is voting for us. I know people are saying Bohemia won't vote for you, but they are. Magdeburg, being Protestant, is pretty unlikely. And they vote for Austria and Oldenburg ahead of us. Hmm. Saxony. Again. Palatinate's probably, like, the best choice. That or another one of these Catholics, I guess. Relations. You are hostile toward me. You've already got you capped out on relations. It's amazing how much aggressive expansion I've done. Let's improve with Trier. We already are, okay? The Palatinate. Let's improve with them a bit. And we'll stay at peace for a little while. You know what we should do is we should attack, like, attack France. We just attack France then they're already at war with France, right? Like, if France were to just, like, die right now, we would have this in the bag. Alright. I think a better relations over time guy would be superb, considering how much uh, aggressive expansion we have. We're making 11 ducats. We're paying for full maintenance. We probably don't need to be doing that right now. But if we went with a level 3 better guy. It's 17 ducats a month. Very expensive, but maybe it's gonna be what we need. I'm not gonna do the, the the purge of aggressive expansion again. I just wanted to do it the one time just to show people how to do it. And besides, it's gonna get fixed soon, but it does feel rather gamey. Um, the problem is that in order to, you know, I just it's so much money, and we don't need the points. I'm just gonna go with you know what, for now I might just go with nobody, actually. We'll just go with nobody. And Hungary... Uh, apparently we just refused royal marriage with you. We could call you to arms. We might as well, because it'll increase trust, I believe. 
I'm not, you know, I don't actually know. I know that if you honor a defensive call, it increases trust, but I, I assume the more wars you're in together, the higher your trust will be. I think that's how it works. Do we have any other allies we can call in, by the way? Let's see, so we've got Hungary, we've got Poland, we could call in Bohemia, so let's do that. Brandenburg, and Castile says no. So how's this war going, by the way, Castile? You're losing right now. Can you tell that it's been a few days since I've played EU4? I've been playing lots of off-world trading company and a couple other games, and it's easy to get your keyboard shortcuts and everything mixed up. And you all know how much I like keyboard shortcuts. So France has 26,000 manpower. Castile, I don't see on the list. There they are. That's not good at all. Castile, how are you so weak? Ferrara has declared war in Tuscany. Ferrara. One province minor Ferrara has declared war in Tuscany. Because Milan is at war with Tuscany. Because that is how Castile is in that war. Attacker against Milan. So that means that Castile is not even really a primary participant. So, Steel might get off without losing much. Meanwhile, what are we building? Bay depots, constables, a whole bunch of stuff's about to finish. Very nice. And what I think we might do... Oh, hey. Thanks, Poland. Poland's going to come in, kill the Bavarian peasants, and then take over the siege. Cool. Um, these are just peasants. We don't want to participate in that fight. We'll let the Polish men die. We're totally going to help you. Not. Take Franche Comte, become emperor. It would be a wonderful thing, but. And the Palatinate, I don't think, is actually going to get to 100. Not without an alliance. Well, with an alliance, though, if they'd accept, if we were at peace, we could get another 50. And then we could do it. We could get them up to. There's no points, just three prestige. So who cares? Franche Comte. We already have a claim on it. The idea of attacking the French just seems suicidal, don't you think? We're on Tech 10, they're on Tech 10. They most definitely have better generals. Well, how, how defensive are we so far? We've got... We've got improved morale, which just basically offsets um, Elan. We've got some maneuver. We don't yet have the defensiveness or the attrition, I think. However, we do have a march in our capital, which increases attrition. Look at that defensiveness, too. 230%. It'll take them forever. What we should do, I think, is we should upgrade our fort levels. I don't normally spend a lot of money on that, but especially in the mountains. If we were to upgrade the fort levels in the border provinces with France, and then the mountains, it would be very difficult for anybody to actually siege our lands. Although, you know, having a fort doesn't actually... doesn't actually... matter. Well, no, it does. It does. It just increases the amount of time, and it reduces the effectiveness of artillery. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's well worth the money. We'll do it. Especially, Tyrol will be great. Tyrol busy doing something? Coring it still. Okay. Right. A little bit of peace. A little bit of uh, negotiations and stuff. Württemberg, how do you feel about us? I wish there was a way that you could easily see which countries you have already improved relations with. Like, this map mode's great. There should be a way that you could just see, like, like I want to know, like, okay, Wurttemberg, yes, you're at positive 31, but then I've got to search through the tooltip to find the improved relations modifier to decide if I should send a diplomat there or not. Trier. See, like, Trier's at 55, but we already have a plus 100. Lorraine. There we go. There's someone we can improve. Get them out of outraged. They are in the coalition against France. How many people are in the coalition? Just Lorraine. England has a new ruler. Saxony is friendly. Really? So you're telling me, Saxony, that if you were my ally, you might possibly be willing to vote for me. Maybe. Something bad would happen to Austria. Like, say, if their prestige went lower or they lost some legitimacy. The fact that they're willing to become allies would be pretty good. But for now... Can improve with everybody. Everybody we can. Get our gold mine and run with it. 
And these Tyrolean nationalists, I think, are going to rise up pretty much no matter what we do, right? Actually, no. 17 years is pretty unlikely. Austria, why don't you go to war? Why don't you get busy? Go do something. Stupid emperor. Stupid dummy head emperor, man. It's too bad we have war exhaustion. Amazingly, somehow the siege progress was given up. Poland came in, killed the army, and then left. They didn't sit there. They didn't take over the siege that was already at 12 progress. Which is actually probably good for us, because that means we don't get the, uh, the call for peace. Reformation branches out. Looks like Reformed is now on the map. There's our first Reformed province, Aachen. They are technically Catholic, however, capital, the, the religion of their capital is Reformed. Seems like you should automatically switch or something. Like, why, are, why are you still Catholic? I wonder. Alright, speed four, because, you know, reasons. What's this button do? Button for the outline. Hmm. Salzburg has declared war on Bavaria. Good luck, Salzburg. Oh, interesting. Hmm. If we were to vassalize Bavaria, we would end up taking control of their war. We'd be at war with Salzburg, which would allow us to core Bavaria without having to deal with it. But if we vassalized Bavaria, we do have released in peace, so we could probably offset some of the negative penalties just by the fact that we would have um, have that released in peace bonus and we can improve by 200 and that is 15 some base tax 14 base tax I don't know if I want to take that the amount of aggressive expansion we'd get for taking that one province would be nuts hmm wait till the first of the month I'll bring the guy back Let's just see. If I made you a vassal, we're looking now at 30 aggressive expansion. I mean, that if that does if <laughs> if you want to piss off the HRE, here's how you do it in one easy move. Also, it would cost diplo points, but we don't care about those. Wow. I mean, that would be damn near impossible to offset without doing a, the gimmicky little thing. Technically, I don't want to do it because I think it'd be kind of cheap, but I could take the land, vassalize them, inherit the war, siege Salzburg, and then surrender to them and then release it back and purge the AE. And then I can take Augsburg and then wipe AE all in one fell move. Which, now that I think about it, sounds so appealing. It really does. God, it's so hard. See, this is the problem with me. This is the problem with the way that I play E4 or pretty much any game. It's that if there's a mechanic in the game and it's better to do it than to not do it, I feel like it's playing suboptimally to not do it. Whether it's a glitch or a gimmick or, or not, it, it it's like... It, it'd be like fighting without a general or something. Like, it's just it's the way I feel. It's like, I can't... You can't do that. You have to use a general. I mean, come on. Sure, you can play without using a general, but because you can, you should. Like, I don't know. Now I'm, I've got this mental battle to decide. Should I do it or not? Hmm. I mean, alternatively, the, the, I guess the thing is, for this achievement, I just have to just play the game, you know? Even if it takes 300 years, it's not a big deal. We just, We won't do it. Wow, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Oh well. Boo. We'll try to do it the peaceful route. We'll take this idea. Land maintenance modifier. Now we have yearly prestige plus one. Pretty cool. Get a little bit of discipline at the end of this thing. Now all of our diplomats are free. Austria, I need you to go to war. Or I need to participate in a war somewhere. We certainly can't attack France. We have no truce with Austria, right? Or sorry, we do have a truce with Austria. 
If I were to attack France, you would not join. You would join. You would join. So Brandenburg, Bohemia. Poland is a no. Hungary is a no. But, yeah, no, most of them are a no. England. Protestant England, man. If we weren't at war, you would become my ally. Do you have a truce with France? You don't. You're rivaled to France. You would almost definitely join a war with France. Could England and I, plus these other two that said they'd join, beat France? France has no manpower. But France is France. So, there's always that. I love how my phone just totally ignores me when I tell it to not make noise. Stop making noise. Stupid phone. I don't like this phone. My wife convinced me to buy a new phone. And I had a phone for like three years. Maybe five years. I don't I don't know. I'm the type of person that like it doesn't I keep it till it breaks. And so I've had the phone forever and I liked my phone. Whatever, doesn't matter. What are we gonna do? God, I wanna just do the thing. I wanna wipe AE. It's so much easier. We attack Wurttemberg. We have no CB. Well, I think we're gonna have to do that. We'll fabricate a clay on Constance. And we'll keep this war going for another year. We'll declare war on you. No one's accepted peace. You're gonna pull in the rain. We don't care about the rain. Uh, wherever they are. Doesn't really matter. Sure, you can have access. Of course, Genoa, you can have access. Bavaria. What? No! No! I thought it was military access! Crap! No! That is basically what I wanted, but that's not what I wanted to do. You're gonna totally give me unlawful territory now. I hate you, Austria. I need to go to war, like, right this second. Crap. Crap. Bitty crap crap. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What what was the peace deal? What what did we get? I forget. I didn't even read it. We have accepted the peace offer. Yeah. Very useful to know. <laughs> oh god. Why did I click it? Oh, it's not good. Hmm. Please don't do it. Please 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 Austria. Well, if we did this, we could end up at war with Austria. Again, directly, and that would prevent it. We could just, just do a no-CB war. Oh, do I have fully... Di I have diplomatic ideas, don't I? Yeah. Could we beat Austria? Could we just beat the Emperor? I think we could, quite easily, actually. Of course, no one would join a no BC war. Act what? No, actually, they would. Hell yeah. Alright, well, fine. Um... Since I know he's going to do unlawful territory, I really, I hate that I just made that mistake. It's going to cost us a one stability, but yeah. Um, we'll just, we'll just do it. Wow. Annoying. We'll buy down the war exhaustion, since we're not going to be at peace at all. And we have the diplo points. And we're going to hang out in the mountains. Bohemia has refused. Interesting. So it tried calling them into a war they say that they said that they would join and now they won't join? What the hell? Oh, you know what? They probably had a truce with Austria and so it would have destabilized them or something. And they hadn't counted they hadn't counted on Austria being in the war. That's just some weird thing there. That's silly. So who did join? Brandenburg did, Lithuania, Poland. All oh, Lithuania had to join. Poland did. Interesting. Well, all that just because I didn't want to have to deal with them doing the aggressive expan- uh, the, the thing. Whatever it's called. Unlawful territory. Okay, well, uh, we're going to take this and this, and I am going to take a break here. <laughs> Playing Breskow. Well, you realize we're at war, game. You can't do that. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you again in the next video, see you soon.